G'day guys, Steve Fitzpatrick here from Your Building Broker with another building tip. And today, I wanted to chat to you a little bit about variations. And I've got a building contract in front of me and I want to just read to you something that's important. It's a little clause, but it does make a difference for when you go to build. Under the variations section, it says if the price of a variation, unless previously agreed in writing, is additional to the contract price, then the reasonable price for the variation, including an amount for the builder's margin, being that percentage as set forth in the schedule, shall be added to the contract price. So what that's talking about is when you make a change and it's an additional cost, the builder will put on a reasonable margin, whatever they nominate in your building contract, on top of the actual cost price of the product, and that's what you'll get charged. But it goes on to say, if the amount results in a deduction from the contract price, the reasonable price for the variation, and it shall not include any amount for the builder's margin, and such decrease shall be deducted from the final payment. So what that's talking about is if you have a uh, item that you're taking out of the building contract, then that cost price is reduced from your contract value, but the builder gets to keep his margin. So I want to explain that to you a little bit further in numbers, just so you can see the numbers and actually see what this means. So let's say you ask for a bunch of appliances to be upgraded to a nicer, fancier model of oven and hot plate and range hood. And the cost price comes to $5,000. Now, most builders, you know, anywhere between 15 to 40%, but most builders will charge a 25% margin on any cost value. So the builder's gonna add his 25% margin to there which comes out to $1,250, which means you're going to pay the builder $6,250 for those upgrades for the appliances. So that makes sense, right? And that's fair enough. Builders have to make money to stay in business, so we understand that. And it's all pretty self-explanatory. But what happens if you had the good oven in the first place? In the building contract, and then for whatever reason you've thought, you know what, we don't really need that, we want to save a bit of money, we maybe want to spend it on a swimming pool or put it towards some extra fencing or extra landscaping features, you might say to the builder, you know what, let's take out the um, luxury uh, kitchen appliances and let's put in the standard kitchen appliances. And in your mind, you're thinking, well, it's around $5,000 that we would get back, you know, plus the builder's margin, but according to the building contract, the builder doesn't have to give you back this amount. So what you'll often find is you'll get a credit of $5,000. But the builder will keep the $1,250 and they're entitled to. That's what's in the building contract. Now there's a number of reasons which I don't want to go into, but it's actually fair for the builder to do that. I won't go into that today. But what I want to do for you, though, is to make sure you understand this principle so that you're always going to be getting the best deal. And to do that, what you need to think of before you sign the building contract is whether or not there's going to be opportunity for you to actually pull something out of the contract. If you've got it in your mind that you're thinking you might change your appliances, or you've got it in your mind that you might deduct the uh, internal wall painting, what you want to do is you want to ask the builder before they get the contract ready for you, when they're doing their building quote, you want to ask them to nominate what that amount is as a pricing option. So you're agreeing upfront on what that value is, and then when you enter into the building contract, if you decide to pull that out, you've already got it in writing what that value amount is, and you're happy with that, you can ask them to take it out. If you don't do that and you haven't come up with that agreed value before you enter the contract, the builder's fully entitled to do this and keep that building margin. And it's actually fair for them to do it, so I'm not saying they're doing the wrong thing, 
But this is often why people say, you know, when you sign up with the builder, they hit you with the variations, and whenever you take something out, they never give you the money back. Well, this is why. Um, it's not that they're doing anything wrong, it's just the way the building contract is phrased, and it's actually fair for the builder to do this. But, if you're smart, keep this in mind, and then you'll always be one step ahead, and you'll get the best value when you go to build your new home. I'm Steve Fitzpatrick from Your Building Broker. I hope this has been a good tip. Stay tuned for our next video. Thanks.